Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you four things that you should really think about doing if you either have or are going to get a Max Jax lift. The lift that I have here is the Max Jax M6. This is the version that has the uh, automatic locks instead of the one that has a little pin you put through it. Uh, but this will work for either version. The first one that I'm going to show you is the cheapest that you can do, I, I don't have the price off the top of my head, so I'm going to put it on the on the screen here. But this is the cheapest thing you should do if you're going to have your lift set up on a single bay. So you can see I've got uh, I've got a two car bay right there with just a single bay right here. This is this is where I do all the work at. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have an opener in the middle. Now, if you do a lot of reading online, you're going to find a bunch of stuff telling you that you need to get a jack shaft opener if you want to have full clearance up above your your vehicle that you're going to lift you don't have to do that all you got to do is buy this bracket right here again i'll put the i'll put the exact price up on the screen but it was less than 40 dollars, and all i did was take and i moved my opener from right there in the middle to right there now this only works if you have a shorter door like mine or a single bay if you have it in a dual bay you're not gonna have to worry about it because your opener's gonna be in the middle and you're probably not gonna be lifted in the middle anyway but uh you want to be careful that you don't move this rail any further than four feet away from center now this is a nine foot door um, right there on the edge so it's it's fine I'm not gonna have to worry about anything all right so here's what this looks like with the door open and the garage door opener offset you can see if uh, you see where the, the opener is right there. You wouldn't be able to get lift this high if you have your opener in the center. What I used to have to do was actually back this in so that uh, the opener showed up right in front of the uh, the windshield. I could get it a little bit higher, um, two locks away from the top. So this is how high you can lift the vehicle with the door open. Uh, I'll show you later on in the video how high you can lift the vehicle with the door shut. So the second item that I'm gonna tell you guys about are these couplers right here. Now these are a set of flat face couplers. Uh, whenever I was looking at purchasing this lift, uh, it seemed to be the common upgrade that everybody's saying that you should get is a set of these flat face couplers. Because, and the reason being is that they don't leak as much as, or they don't leak at all versus the, the couplers that come with. Now I never tried the factory couplers. I just went ahead and got these so that I wouldn't have to re-bleed the system or anything. Uh, if I decide I didn't like the factory ones, but uh, this, this is an, an easy upgrade to do. If you're gonna permanently mount your lift, you don't have to worry about it. It, it doesn't matter which, uh, which coupler you have, which is gonna bring me to the next item. The third upgrade is gonna be, if you can, mount your pump onto the wall. Now, one of the, advantage, one of the reasons that uh, people may get the Max Jax lift is because it's portable. So if you're gonna be unbolting it, and bolting it, putting it up, taking it down, you may not want to do this. But for me, I got it because I have a low ceiling height uh, and I couldn't fit a full size lift in here. Uh, so what I did was, I think this is a, it's like a two by 12. All I did was bolt this thing into the studs, mounted, I took the pump off the cart, left the back, this is, you know, the rails from your cart bolt in right here, bolted this right up to the, to the two by 12, and then went to, local hydraulic store and bought some hard line and ran this up up the ceiling across and then you can see I got it across the ceiling now one thing that I did just so that I could if I needed to take the post down is I left the factory flex lines on here and it connects up over there behind that box and then connects up here on the top uh, that way if I ever do need to pull one of the columns down I've got the flex hose that I can roll up I could hang it up here from the ceiling if I want to, disconnect from there, pull this post out of the way. All right, so item number four. The last item is something that not everybody's gonna need to do. It's just something that I did uh, because of the type of vehicle that I was gonna be using this lift with. And that was make a set of bigger standoffs right here. So you can get a set of three inch and six inch standoffs. And I've got the standoffs over here that they offer. I use them on my car and the truck. But uh, here's a three inch and here's a six inch. Uh, and they don't really recommend stacking too many of those together. So what I wanted to do is get one solid one that was gonna give me the most lift height possible to take advantage of this whole, the whole ceiling that I have. Uh, 
So what I did was I bought some solid tubing and I'll put the sizes up on the screen, uh, but this is just some solid tube here with a set of DOM that uh, has the same ID as this OD. Uh, and they won't, this won't just slide right in there. You've got to heat it up. So like you can see, it, it's, it's not going to go in there. So what I did was I used a torch to heat this up and I cut these down and put them in dry ice. Uh, with this thing frozen, I set it down into the into the arm here and dropped dropped the bar on top of it, let it cool, and it's all solid together, no welding. So, if you can work on your car, you're probably gonna have a torch. Go to Kroger or whatever grocery store you have, buy us some dry ice, it's pretty cheap, and you can do this. It's super simple. I'll show you, uh, you can see how high up this thing is. Um, I can go a little bit higher, uh, just because right now it's on the lock, so you got a couple more inches before it runs into stuff. But this is plenty of height. I can get on the cart and I can sit around under here and do some work on the buggy. All right, so there you have it. Four things that you really need to think about doing if you either have or are getting a max jack lift. I'll put uh, a, I'll put all the pricing down on the video. Uh, it was it was pretty cheap to do all this. Uh, you don't have to do everything. I just I'd really recommend doing that upgrade with the uh, with the opener. Just it, it makes it so much easier. You get all this space here. Uh, it's it's the one that I would do first. All right. Well, thanks guys. Uh, if you thought this was informative, you liked it, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. Thanks.